Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Fresh Audiobooks. Today I'm going to be reading you Noodleheads Find Something Fishy by Ted Arnold, Martha Hamilton, and Mitch Weiss. Illustrated by Ted Arnold. I'm Mac, and I'm Mac. We're Noodleheads. See in there? Nothing. Zippo Nato. Hey, Mac, look. Someone is throwing away a perfectly good fish stick. I wish we knew how to fish. We can learn. Okay, let's take it home. Good thinking. Oof! This fish stick won't fit between the trees. Let me try. Oof! You're right. It won't fit. However, will we get it home? I know. We'll break it into two pieces. Crack. Two pieces fit through nicely. Now, when we learn how to fish, we can catch twice as many. Chapter 1 How to Grow a Boat. One morning, a few weeks later, Mom had an idea for Mac and Mac. Don't just sit around being bored. Go outside and enjoy this beautiful day. Get out there and learn something new today. Here's a snack and a coin for each of you. Now out you go. Wow, I didn't see that coming. Nope. It's not fair to make us learn. It's not even a school day. Hey, Mac, we can learn how to catch a fish. We'll show Mom we can learn something new. I bet we can learn three things. So, I guess first we have to learn where fish live. I heard that fish live in schools. They must be smart. Hey, is that a fish out there? Wait, fish live in the water? Way out there? This fish stick won't reach that far. And we can't swim. What do we do? I know. Oh, hi, Meepo. Hi, guys. Did I hear you want to catch fish in the deep water? Deep water? Maybe. Then you need a boat. And I have one. A toy boat? We won't fit in it. If you feed it, it will grow. Just put in some food and take a nap. It will grow while you sleep. Bye now. Cool. Sounds fishy to me. I'll put my snack in it. Now we nap. If you say so. Later. Yawn. Yawn. Look, the boat ate the snack. But it didn't grow. It needs your snacks too. Sounds fishy to me. Now we nap again. If you say so. Later. Yawn. Look, the boat ate your snack. But it didn't grow. It must not like our food. I will put in my coin. While we nap, the boat can buy its favorite food. If you say so. Zzzz. 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 Needleheads sleeping when they could be fishing. Zzzz. Later. Hang on. Hey, Mac, guess what? The boat grew up. The boat grew up. Time to go fishing. Chapter 2 Finding Fish. Boats are fun. So, how do they work? Let's do what that guy's doing. What, wear a hat? No, we can use these boat sticks to go. Oh, yeah. Boating is fun. Boating is hard. We aren't moving. A rope is tied to the boat. It won't let us go. The rope is too short. Here is a longer rope. It will reach all the way out to deep water. Yeah, now we are boating. Look, Mac, a fish lives here. Let's catch it. How? 
with some nice, tasty worms. We don't have worms. Where do we get them? At Miss Froggy's bait shop. Back to shore. Wait, he's gone. So, so if we leave this spot, how will we find the fish again? We need to mark this spot. How? I have an idea. The fish was right here by the boat. So, I will mark this spot with an X. Good thinking. Now back to shore. Look out, worms! Here we come. We only have one coin left. I wonder how many worms we can buy. This coin will give you will get you three worms plus a, the boat rental. Only three worms plus the boat rental. Wait, what does boat rental mean? Who cares? We've got fish sticks. We've got a grown-up boat. We've got a long rope, and we've got worms. Time to go fishing. Chapter three: The biggest fish. Are we there yet? Look out for the mark. Yep, there is our mark. So this is the spot where the fish lives, and there it is. Did you bring the worms? We have the worms. Now what? Did you bring hooks to put the worms on? Hooks? We need hooks. We're all out of coins. Relax. Forget the hooks. Why? If you hooked me, you could not pull me into your boat. I'm too big. You're being silly. You're just a tiny fish. That's what you think. Here is my head. Here is my fin. Here is my tail. Wow, you really are too big to fit in our boat. So how do we catch you? Just toss me your worms, and I will swim to the shore. That sounds fishy. I promise. I will see you at the shore. Just toss me the worms. All of them. I'm a very big fish. Okay. Guess what? We are going to take home the biggest fish ever, 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 ever. High five! High five! Splash! Oops, we missed the boat. Okay, back to shore. Here we are. Where's our fish? There it is. Come to Papa. Nice to see you here at shore. Bye now. Hey, wait! You promised. I promised to see you at the shore, and I did see you. Thanks for the worms. Hi, Miss Froggy. Hi. Hi, boys. So that fish got away. It was the biggest fish ever. Yes, the biggest fish is always the one that got away. Don't feel bad. You weren't the first to learn that lesson from a fish. Really, we learned something. High five! Thanks, Miss Froggy. Noodleheads. Hey, Mom. Mom, we did what you said. We went out and we learned something. A fish taught us. A fish? Tell me all about it. We went fishing, and a fish taught us that the biggest fish is always the one that got away. It's true. We had the biggest fish, and it got away. Plus, we learned that you need money if you want to buy a boat. Also, we found out that if you want to go boating, you have to learn the ropes. Oh my! You learned so much. I bet you need a snack. Fishy crackers and gummy worms. Learning is fun, but guess what? We did not learn the one thing we wanted to learn: how to catch a fish. We'll go out and learn that tomorrow, and that is the end of this story. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you want to read more Noodlehead story, more Noodlehead stories, I will post it down in the comment below. And please leave a like and subscribe if you're new to my channel. And thanks to Epic Books for Kids. 
That's what I'm reading this on. And if you want to read them for yourself, go to Epic. And yeah. Bye, guys.